friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it's another what I eat in a day. I have a lot of fun for you today. I had a couple packages, so I wanna share those with you. One is from a super sweet, sweet subscriber. So I'm gonna share that with you. Of course, we have all my food for the day and an amazing dinner recipe. Oh, and did I mention Diesel and Lola? So I have a really fun day in store for you. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and it really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, and most of the people who watch me aren't actually subscribed, it would mean the world to me if you would take a moment hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Help me reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're this close. So it'd mean a lot if you made sure that you were subscribed. Check out that description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. I offer macro and calorie calculation as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So really there's a little bit of something for everyone. You'll also find links, discount codes to everything I shared with you today as well as all of my other favorite things. And last but not least, my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. I have a lot of fun things in store for 2021 and you definitely want to be part of that community so you can take part because it's pretty epic stuff that I have coming your way for the new year. So without further ado, we have a busy day ahead of us. So let's jump in to this what I eat in a day. Here's my breakfast for this morning. This is one of my favorite breakfasts lately. It's quick, it's easy, it's packed full of protein, super low calorie, super low point. So you saw me make up my little egg scramble. So I have one full egg, one half of a cup of egg whites, and then I cut up three of these Applegate Natural chicken and maple sausages, and I nuke these in the microwave for about 30 seconds to soften them up. They are frozen. And then I just cut them up with some kitchen shears and added them to my egg mixture. And then I just pair it with some berries. I have some organic raspberries and blueberries. And this entire breakfast is only three smart points. The eggs are zero, the fruit is zero, the sausage links are one point per link. These are amazing, by the way amazing. So this is my three smart point breakfast. And just so you guys know, I did go ahead and fill my first cup of water out of my gallon in the refrigerator. Of course, I'll link my gallon water bottle down below, but let's see if we can drink a gallon today. I got a little happy mail in my PO box today. Thank you so much, Lori, one of my beautiful subscribers for sending over a beautiful card and some extra ornaments for my new rustic tree. So she did send me a Christmas card and then two of these little balls that say Joy. If you didn't know, my middle name is Joy and she knew that from watching my videos, which means a lot to me and sent me some Joy themed ornaments. So she sent me two of the bell with the little sprigs and holly and I love these. These say Joy, they're those red 
felt hearts. I did pick up a green one with a different saying on it, and I did not see this red one at my Hobby Lobby. So I'm excited that she sent a couple of those to me as well. So thank you so much, Lori. You don't have to do this. It means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Morning snack, or part of morning snack. I may have a little something else later if I get hungry before lunch, but I'm actually going to have that cookies and cream built bite that came in my advent calendar. That advent calendar is so cute. This is two point and seven grams of protein. And then also in my Imperfect Foods haul that you guys saw, I did get this Better Booch Morning Glory, which is peach and black tea. I'm excited to try that. So I'm gonna have that for one point, this for two points. So this is my three Smart Point morning snack. So I wanted to try this Better Booch for you guys uh, for the first time on camera. I've never had this. I'm a GT's kombucha fan. All the other kombuchas I've ever tried, I have not liked. So let's see if I like this one. Hmm, it's pretty good. So it's sweet, sweeter than GT's and it doesn't have as vinegary of a taste. So I highly recommend get in Perfect Foods, add this to your cart. Try this if you're on the fence about kombucha because it definitely is not as vinegary as GT's. It's sweeter and it's more sparkly, like sparkly water. Imperfect Foods is here, one of my favorite times every couple of weeks. Imperfect Foods is a food delivery of imperfect produce and other overstock foods. There's nothing wrong with the foods. They're generally just overstock or the produce isn't perfectly shaped or the coloring isn't perfect. But to be honest with you, the produce is exceptional. I've been getting Imperfect Foods now for about six months. I do get an order every two weeks. It helps prevent food waste. It's cheaper than the grocery store by far. So I wanted to show you what I picked up for the next couple of weeks from Imperfect Foods, starting with some blueberries. Now blueberries are incredibly expensive right now at Trader Joe's or at my grocery store. And these are actually organic blueberries and they were less than $4 a container, which is a excellent deal. I also restocked my mangoes because they were so good from the last Imperfect Foods box. This one here is really ripe. This one's a little harder, which is perfect because then I can eat up this one first. And they were literally incredible. I always get lemons for my water from Imperfect Foods just because they're like a dollar per pound of organic lemons. I also picked up some oranges because I really enjoyed having them this last time. These are actually mandarins, but these are like the cuties. Really, really delicious. And just so you know, all of my produce is organic. I did pick up a pack of organic green beans. We actually have these on Thanksgiving. They were so good. So I want to recreate that recipe for a vegetable side for dinner. Some zucchini because we love zucchini in this house. And again, it is super affordable. And you can see there's really nothing visually even wrong with this produce. And then there's a couple more oranges in here. And I think another zucchini. Actually, two more zucchini. So we have enough for dinner. And then another lemon in the box. And four mandarins total. So I picked up these cashew halves and pieces for Troy. He loves cashews. I just put these in a little baggie and toss these into his lunch. And then it looks like there's some onions. I did go ahead and order, I think a pound of organic onions as well. I have heard about these Unreal chocolates. This is the Coke Dark Chocolate Coconut Bar. I've heard all about these. And when I saw them on Imperfect Foods for way less than the grocery store, I had to pick them up. I will definitely let you know here on the screen what I think of them because I will have tried them before this video goes up. Also, another loaf of our very, very favorite bread. This is another thing I always get from Imperfect Foods. This is the take and bake garlic bread. It is so good. I don't know what it is about the bread, but it's absolutely delicious. So I picked that up so that we can have that with spaghetti and meatballs this next week. All of your to be kept cold product is always in an insulated bag. And this is a huge ice pack down there at the very bottom. So everything in here is super cold. It looks like a lemon and a zucchini made their way in there as well. So I'll add those to the collection. Now this, I am excited for this. I'm afraid it's gonna be a bit dangerous, so we'll have to ration this out, but this is the Imperfect Foods cinnamon bread. Yes, please. This looks like monkey bread in low form. So I don't know, yeah, it's 200 calories for a one inch slice. So this will definitely be saved for a splurge day, but I absolutely had to pick that up. And then some more pineapple. I actually picked these up in my last box and they were so good. I think I may actually have these as a fruit this afternoon. I also picked up some ham. 
I thought that it would be nice to have ham available for a dinner. This is just a half ham, applewood smoked uncured. Some sour cream because we have actually a taco dinner on the menu and a couple of drinks. I always pick up some unique drinks from them whenever I see them. So this is the Columbe Coffee Draft Latte in Peppermint Mocha. Now I know Trader Joe's sells this as well, but I wanted to try it and it was, I think a dollar in the Imperfect Foods box. And then last in here is another drink I've heard all about, but I've actually never tried. You guys know how much I love kombucha. This is the Better Booch Kombucha in Morning Glory, which is peach and black tea. So I'm excited to try this. It looks like it's 30 calories, so 60 calories for the can, the same as my GT's kombucha. I'm kind of a snob when it comes to kombucha, but I wanted to give that a try. And again, it was just such an affordable price. So this is my haul from Imperfect Foods. If you wanna check them out and help prevent food waste, I do have $10 worth of free groceries down in the description box. No minimum order. You can take your $10, pay the shipping and go, but highly recommend supporting a small business and helping eliminate as much food waste as possible. So it's pretty early in the morning, it's about 9 a.m. We're gonna get dinner in the slow cooker. This needs to cook on low six to eight hours. We generally eat dinner between five and six, so it should be done just in time. But I am making slow cooker scalloped potatoes and ham. I'm really excited for this. We're gonna have it with a veggie. It's comfort food, it's in the slow cooker, so it's easy. Let me show you just the few ingredients in this recipe. First you'll need salt and pepper fat-free, reduced fat, whatever type of cumin mushroom soup you prefer, diced ham, light shredded cheese, paprika, a medium-sized onion, and about eight medium potatoes. I only have seven because this is not medium. That's more like a large potato. So this is the equivalent of eight medium potatoes. So the first thing we're going to do is actually peel and slice these nice and thin, slice the onion nice and thin as well. I'm not gonna show you guys that you'll see what they look like when they are sliced up. So to start our scalloped potatoes, I'm going to spray my crock pot liner just really lightly with nonstick cooking spray. Now, if you're not using a liner, generously spray your crock pot, otherwise everything is just going to stick. And then I have my sliced up potatoes. So you can see that I did cut them fairly thin and I'm going to add those as well as the onions to the bottom of my slow cooker. Now we're going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper and go ahead and do that to your liking. This is a pretty big batch, so I'm going to put a decent amount, probably two teaspoons of both salt and pepper into my potatoes. The original recipe wanted you to layer the potatoes. I've done these types of recipes before and I never layered and they came out just fine. I will link the original recipe on my website along with how I created it as well. So we are going to put one and a half cups of diced ham on top of the potatoes and because I'm not layering it I am going to just kind of mix this together you'll see I'll just kind of move it around with my hands a little bit and get that salt and pepper mixed in as well as get everything kind of put together with the potatoes just as if I would have layered it without actually having to layer it we're going to add one cup of the light shredded cheese right over the top. I measured that out on my food scale and all that's left in the bag was actually shy, a tiny bit of one cup, but close enough. And then the last step is adding our soup. So I'm going to stir the soup up a little bit here in the can. You can also do that in a bowl. And then we're just going to drop it and kind of spread it on top of the potato ham and cheese mixture. And here it is. I'm going to pop the lid on it, set it on low for eight hours. I will check it about four to five hours in to make sure that I need the additional few hours or if I just wanna go closer to the six hour mark. But this looks so good, you guys. I can't wait for my house to smell like scalloped potatoes. So here's my lunch for today. I actually made this chicken and wild rice soup a couple nights ago for dinner. It was so good. We loved it. It makes a ton 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 of soup so we have a lot of leftovers and it's a cool day it's snowing a little bit so soup is what the doctor ordered this soup though is absolutely incredible i went ahead and paired it with five saltine crackers this soup was part of my meal plan for the month of december i do offer a monthly meal plan on my facebook group so head on over and join my facebook group to take part in that and that's where this recipe came from and then for dessert i'm having the pineapple that came in my imperfect foods box 
I have water number three or four. I'm about three quarters of the way done with my gallon at 11 a.m. I am having an earlier lunch because I didn't have much of a morning snack and I've been up since about five. So I had a pretty early breakfast. So the saltine crackers are two smart points. The soup is only six points and this has potatoes and rice. It's amazing. So this is my eight smart point lunch. Do you need something after I have my lunch? <laughs> you want a treat? Oh, is that what it is? Lola, do you want a treat? Yeah, is that what you want? Oh, would you like one too, buddy? Okay. Okay, both of you can have a treat after mama's lunch. There you go. 2.30 p.m. and my water is gone. I wanted to show you, I got a few questions on adding the lemons. So what I'll do is I'll cut up one to two lemons into small little chunks so that they can come out the top easy when I go to throw them away. And then I just leave the lemons in my bottle overnight. And then when I wake up, my water is nice and lemony in the morning. So I'm actually going to empty this out and start with a fresh lemon. I'll do a fresh lemon and then the next day I'll add another fresh lemon, but keep in the old lemon. So this is actually two days worth of lemons. And then I discard them all and start fresh. That way I have nice lemon, lime, cucumber, whatever kind of water that you want. And again, I'll link this water bottle down below. For a snack this afternoon, I'm going to have a spinja sparkling water. And then in my bowl here, I have four smart points worth of the full fat, whole milk, good culture cottage cheese. This is my favorite cottage cheese. As you know, I'm obsessed with it. And then I topped it with one point worth of Asiago cheese ciabatta croutons. Now it has been a minute since I did cottage cheese and croutons. If you haven't tried this, it's so good. It's like a perfect savory snack. So the cottage cheese is four, the croutons is one. So this is five smart points. I got a little Lakanto monk fruit sweetener box. I have the blueberry muffin mix. These are awesome. I've actually had these before. It is only 70 calories for two muffins and it's using monk fruit sweetener, which is a great great sweetener alternative and then also the brownie mix which i'm pretty excited for this this is only 40 calories per brownie of course all the points and everything are here on the screen tori's already eyed the blueberry muffin mix and wants me to make it and then i did get another package of just the classic sweetener this is my favorite. I try to buy it at Costco, but I'm almost out. And Lakanto actually has good prices on their website. So I got just the small bag. And then I've never tried these. These are their version of chocolate chips. So instead of stevia sweetened like Lily's, these are monk fruit sweetened. So I'm curious if these do not have the aftertaste that you get with Lily's. So I'm excited about these. We'll definitely be making a recipe with them. I do have a code for Lakanto. It is down in the description box. So check it out. You can get any Lakanto monk fruit product on their website for the discount. The potatoes are done. Look at these beautiful scallop potatoes and ham. It only took about four five hours, on six hours on low heat to cook these all the way through. So I just turned it off. Troy should be home here in about an hour. We're gonna have dinner. You guys, these smell and look so delicious that I cannot wait to have these with dinner with a veg. We're going to have this California blend with our crock pot meal. So I'm going to throw this into the microwave. So here is my dinner for tonight. This is the scalloped ham and potatoes that we made in the crock pot. It is seven smart points on the blue plan, which is the plan that I'm on. I will put the points for the other plans here on the screen for you. 249 calories. And then I have some of that California blend with some salt and pepper. That's an additional about 30 calories. So this is my dinner for tonight. It looks so good, it smells good, and we're just under 300 calories. Dessert tonight is a two point candy cane. Tis the season, I love candy cane, so I always pick up a box. So this is my dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat In A Day on WW. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, my little hauls, Diesel and Lola, recipes, and of course my food throughout the day. It was a great day, so thank you for coming along with me. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me, and of course it helps my channel kind of out there in that YouTube algorithm. And again, if you're not subscribed and you're watching today's video or you're new, please take a moment and definitely hit that little subscribe button. Help me reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers 
subscribers and of course you'll be part of this great community here on YouTube. Don't forget about the description box down below where you'll find tonight's dinner recipe, nutrition coaching, links and discount codes to my favorite things including the items that I shared with you today and my Facebook group. Definitely head over and join us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, happy middle of the week, happy day of Vlogmas, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!